Hello. If you have some recorded GoPro footage with telemetry data embedded in and you need that data to sketch an animated map with the distance traveled this is right video for you. Also here you will see how to join multiple consecutive GPX files in one, integral, GPX file. It's known that GoPro action cameras, and similar models, often record one consecutive footage as numerous smaller files by automatic splitting during recording. I will use here only free software, and it should be mentioned that there are commercial software that can do something similar. So here I have Time Warp 4K Ultra High Definition footage from GoPro Hero 7 Black Camera. Footage was recorded during non-stop 6 hours car drive with no pauses in recording. GoPro has automatically split file on 4 GB chunks but they are consecutive. It is important to know that only consecutive multiple GPX files could be joined in one integral GPX file. Otherwise, with non-consecutive files, joining isn't possible. It's important to know that you need to enable that GoPro Hero 7 record telemetry data. So you must first to activate a GPS receiver, via menu in the camera, or via mobile GoPro application. If you don't do that telemetry data wouldn't be recorded, at all. When you complete transfer of the recording from GoPro to your computer, you need to open a GoPro telemetry extractor webpage. Link is in description of this video. Here, via option, free, we open the subpage telemetry extractor light and wait for the page to read the telemetry data from GoPro video itself. It is important to note that the video is not uploaded to the site. The premium version offers us some additional information, but the free version is enough to get the GPX file from the recording, so we will not analyze the premium options here. As we can see, the site immediately recognizes the type of GoPro camera with which the video was recorded and offers options for read telemetry data. By clicking the GPS stream, and after that, GPX, downloading of GPX file start. Same procedure is needed to repeat for all video chunks. Now we have extracted GPS telemetry data from all chunks of consecutive video footage from GoPro Hero 7 Black Camera. Next step would be to open GPS Track Editor software, which is free, as I mentioned before. After that, we must import all GPX files which we created in previous shown procedure. GPS Track Editor show them as separate GPS tracks. But our primary goal here is to join those tracks in one integral GPX file because in next step we need exactly that, one integral GPX file for creation of animated map. Because these GPX files are consecutive, using shown procedure in video, is possible to create one GPX file which incorporated all four of them in these case. So once again to repeat, these procedure isn't possible to perform if GoPro footage, extracted GPX files, isn't consecutive. You must first select all GPX files and with right mouse click select function, merge, which will create one new GPX file. After that you must expand all four chunks and select item, number one, and all of them. After that by using right mouse click you must select option, restructuring, and after that function, join. Now in first chunk, click again with right mouse click, number 1, and select option, save as. With these steps you create one new integral GPX file, exactly what we need for creating animated map.
To make simple animated map of the movement of the camera during the recording, we will use the free program route generator. Download link is in description of this video. With the route generator we now open the integral GPX file which we create in previously step with, GPS track editor. Route generator, need some time to read it. When it's done, it offers the option to immediately download the Google Maps map of the zone where the GPS log is located. This is essentially the location where GoPro video is recorded. At this step it is important to define the size of the map that we will download, and it is best to adjust it exactly to the resolution of the video in which we make the video, which in this case, is, ultra high definition, 3840 by 2160 pixels. If you are only doing an animated map of the camera movement which will not be used in any video editing, then you can adjust the resolution of the map to your needs. When you adjust this, the map detail level selection shows a green rectangle that tells you how much terrain surface the GPS log covered while you were recording. For this reason, it is best to adjust the map so that the green rectangle is within the selected area and is as large as possible. This will give you a more detailed view of the movement on the map, because if the green rectangle remains small, you will not see the details. When you have set this, the program saves the selected part of the map as a PNG file. Immediately, after that, you have drawn the path of the GPS log. All graphic details of the visualization can be easily adjusted. The icon itself can be changed using the vehicle settings option. It originally has six icons, airplane, bike, motorcycle, boat, car, train, and I added two more with different colors, pedestrian and dot. For closer details about these settings check my other video, how to extract GPS log file, GPX, from GoPro Hero 7 Black Camera and Visualize Path on the Map, which link is description of this video. Anyhow this is how looks final product. Final animation of moving dot which can be manipulated during video editing. That would be all in this video. I hope that will help someone and if you have some question or comments leave down below in comments section. Thanks for watching.